Hi guys, Martin here. Um, coming to you with build update number five for the Ravel Arado AR 196A3 seaplane 132 scale kit number 04688. I know I said I was going to go straight into the uh, final reveal on my next update. The last update was update number four and it was a week ago. A week ago today, Friday. Um, so I thought I'd better do another update before I go to the final reveal um, instead of letting it drag on for another week so let's talk about what I've done so at the end of update number four I'd done all the base colours all the underside was painted blue, wing tips were yellow, the upper side camo schemes were done everything had been pre-shaded etc and I did a dry fit assembly at the end the last couple of photographs just showed dry fit just to see what it looked like so since then um, I gave everything a clear coat and uh, let that dry then I put the decals on I let them set then I gave it another clear coat then I um, did a pin wash to highlight all the panel lines then um, I did some exhaust stains, some streaking oil, fuel stains etc and um, then I gave it a clear coat to seal all that in another gloss clear coat I didn't do a matte clear coat because I want to do a little bit more with the weathering uh, do a little fit, bit of filtering so the main body of the aircraft and the wings uh, are all weathered and sealed just one more application of weathering and the floats as well are all done um, but I just have one more filtering to do on that and uh, I'll show you the floats now so take them off there. so here's a float and uh, what I tried to achieve was to create a water line I don't know whether it's showing up on the camera but you'll see some still images so I've created at the bottom I wanted it to look dirty like stained from sitting in water when it's sat in docks and uh, both sides there uh, I've dirtied these up a little bit I want them to look weathered because the floats are getting the most the brunt of the uh, elements salt water and whatever grime is in the water and then the uh, erosion of the salt water rubbing against the paintwork so what I want to do now is now I've sealed all that in I just clear coated about an hour ago I want to just put a slight filter over there that gives a, a tint of sort of a yellowy green um, like an algae um, and then I'll be happy with those and then I'll give them a final matte clear coat and then go on into the assembly and that's the other one this one is where the wings folded back these are the uh, these are the latch brackets where the uh, support wing supports latch onto and those wing supports fit in here I haven't put them on yet because I have to do some weathering on that that's this They'll fit in there, but they spread out and they hook into it. But anyway, so that's where I'm at with the floats. Again, you'll see some images. Here's the uh, folded back wing. I want to do a f another filter on this, so. I've just clear coated it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and that's the underside. Yes, yeah, so that's where I'm at. I'm going to put a uh, a very very pale green wash on this, just to blend everything in, and. Um, see what it looks like if it doesn't look good I'll just take it off 
but I just want to get some blending going on as well and just give it a little bit of a green tint and I'll do that over the uh, plane as well so here's the plane I did stick the engine on so the engine's been mounted to the front of the fuselage now as you can see there So I've got chipping going on and I've got um, pin wash to bring out those panel lines and then I put on a sort of rusty brown uh, pin wash in places to give fuel stains and, and sort of a dirt trapped in the panel lines etc. I don't know whether you can see that but you're going to see images. Um, so. That's what she's looking like. The tail. There's streaks where the uh, rudder is across the um, brackets where it moves on. And now on the underside, but just show you the sides just in case you didn't see them. So big it's difficult to get this all in the camera lens and then on the underside I went pretty heavy on the uh, exhaust stains the uh, air cooler box I stained that up a bit came off when I was varnishing it kind of rubbed off with the varnish so I just have to touch that up um, but you can see the panel lines have been highlighted and I've got some fuel streaks and stains going on you got a glare off the window though because it's shiny. Let me just close the blinds a little. Excuse me. Let's see if that takes away the glare. Yeah, that's better. So, that's what she's looking like. That's where I'm at. And uh, all the other pieces support. Um, support struts for the underside oops they're all done so all I have left is my final filter mat coat and final assembly of everything plus I have to do all the canopy I gotta mask my canopies on the inside and outside and paint those they uh, they've come in single flat panels which I talked about before and you have to assemble the canopies and the reason they've been done flat is so they can mould frames on the inside and the outside. So I'll be masking inside and outside and painting both inside and outside. Um, here's the propeller. Propeller on the front there. So that's what she's looking like. Alright, I'll leave it at that. That's my update. And uh, hopefully I should have it all finished by middle of next week end of next week latest and uh, with a final reveal but as I said it'll only be a final reveal for the plane because this is a long term build that ends December 31st and I plan to do a diorama of it sitting in some water in a dock or something and uh, we'll see how that one goes because I've never built a diorama so it'll be a first for me so anyway guys thanks for watching have a great weekend it's now um, it's now 3.45 p.m. here in, on the east coast of the USA, Friday afternoon, and the weekend's upon us. So I'm not going to get much done next couple of days, because the wife is going to be here, so uh, I'll be doing stuff with her, so I'll be back on Monday doing what I want to get done. All right, that's it. I'm out. tally -o guys. Chocks away. Enjoy the weekend. Happy modelling. Keep up the great work. Cheers.